Hello everyone, this is Robin, and I have a video that I promised you about a week or two ago. This is a quick and simple baby shower invitation, and this actually coordinates with the baby shower favors that I made a couple weeks ago, and I will have the link in the description on my YouTube and the link on my my website, mypingstamper.com, I'll have it also on this post. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're using the Storks Delivery Cricut cartridge, and this is actually a Creative Memories cartridge, so if you're interested in purchasing this, go to creativememories.com and find a consultant to contact you. And then also we're going to be using the Cuddle Bug, and I don't know, you can't really see it, it's over here on the side, I've got my Cuddle Bug, and I'm using a Cuddle Bug folder and we're using a Cricut machine, of course, and I have some ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. I, I love this ribbon. It's really cool, really inexpensive. We're using some pop dots, and of course, we'll need some tape and adhesive and scissors, and we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to do one, actually two cuts on the Cricut machine, which is really super easy. We're cutting the little onesie that's on page 22, and we're only going to be cutting two simple cuts from this page. So let's head on over to our Cricut. I have my paper on my mount ready to go and to be loaded into my machine. Turn it sideways. I want to show you a little trick when you're using your regular Cricut Expression machine or your Cricut Create or just the Cricut Personal Cutter. When you're looking at your images on in your handbook and you want to decide how you're going to put your paper on your mat, remember that it's kind of like you're putting your handbook into your machine this way and that's how you load your paper on your mat. Sometimes that gets a little bit confusing. Now if you have the newer machines, the Cricut Expression 2 or the Cricut Imagine, it has an LCD screen that will show you exactly how it's going to be positioned on your mat. So just a little bit of a little helpful hint for you guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut the onesie that's on page 22. We're going to cut it at three and three quarters. Now, that might be the right size or that might not be the right size. I didn't take notes when I made this. I didn't write it down. So I'm kind of just guessing right now along with you guys and we'll find a size that works great for our four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. All right, we're going to head, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and cut the brown piece of cardstock. I'm going to set my blade to six because I'm using thicker cardstock and I'm going to have my pressure and my speed to max. Now we'll go ahead and find the little onesie. It's button number two. If you have problems finding out where it, finding where it is on your overlay, just look at the little overlay picture underneath the, your image and it'll show you in red where it's going to be on your overlay. If you have the older cartridges, you kind of have to count it out or find a system that works best for you. Now we're going to go ahead and press cut. We are cutting the bottom one because it has the star and it is ready to go, so let's go ahead and press cut. Now, I'm not sure if that's too big or too small, and I'm going to find out now. It looks pretty big. <laughs> okay, let me check this. I'm going to put it on my card and see exactly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut it at three and a half. I'm going to go ahead and just cut my blue. Let's see here. Load last will take you to where it finished cutting before. Now we're going to go ahead and just cut the top layer. I'll recut the brown off camera so you guys don't have to wait while I do that. Now here's where it gets a little bit, not really tricky, but just to show you I'm cutting out one of the layers. This actually has three layers in the picture. It has the back layer, which is the hanger, then it has a white layer, which you see through the little holes, and then it has the top layer. Well, what I've done is taken out the top layer, the one with the little holes, and I've just used the one that they have as white. I have that as my solid color. That is just simplifying the steps, and my card looks, or my image looks just as cute for me. Now, if I wanted to, or you want to, you can go ahead and add the extra step in. All right, three and a half, and we're cutting, this is layer one. So go ahead and press your layer one button and then press your onesie button. Okay, now let's put this together and do the next steps on our card. I have my pieces that I cut right here, the little onesie. Okay, now I just want to point out that if you don't have the cartridge that I'm working with, find an image that works for you 
There are plenty of cartridges that also have baby images on them. You don't need to own this one to make this project, if that makes any sense. Okay, I am just using some adhesive. And I'm going to layer this on just very simply. Okay, now I have that. Now I have this star that goes in the center. And now what I want to do here is I want to add... Oops, ah, I want to add a pop dot. We're going to be using... I have bigger pop dots. So I'm just going to cut one in half, or you can use smaller ones. And I use a pair of scissors that you use just for sticky things. Or clean it off when you're done, or it'll gunk them up. I'm just going to add that on there if I can see okay. That's still a little bit big, so I'm going to cut it down a little bit more. You don't want the white pop dot sticking out from anything you pop up. It just doesn't look as cute, I think. Okay, let's add the star in the center, and now let's go ahead and get started on the actual card. I have here a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by eight and a half. So really simple, you can just take your eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock and you can cut it down to eight and a half, then turn it sideways and you can cut it at four and a quarter and you'll get two pieces out of there. We're going to go ahead and fold this in half. So now your card will be four and a quarter by four and a quarter and this will fit in your standard A2 sized envelope, which is really awesome. Now this card here are this white piece of cardstock. This is cut at four by four and now we're going to cuddle bug this. We're using the dots. Now I didn't write the name of this on here. I think it's called Lots of Dots. I can't remember. It's one of the cuddle bug embossing folders. Now I'm just doing, I'm not doing all of this. I'm going to leave a little bit on the bottom because I'm going to stamp down here and I'm going to put my ribbon around here so it'll all mesh in. It'll all look really nice. This is the top view of my cuddle bug. You're just going to open it. Now it suctions to the table when you open it like that. It comes with plates and it comes with an A and two B's that you're going to be using. The A's on the bottom and then you put a B down Then you put what you're going to be embossing and then you put another B down. All you need to do is stick this in your machine and then crank it out. And the coolest thing about the embossing machines is that you have homemade embossed paper which is super cool. Check that out. Isn't that so cute? I love it. Let's finish this card up. We're almost done. Now we're using My Pink Stamper Stamps invitation only. So if you have a lot of events that you throw parties for or you like to make cards for different occasions, this has wedding, graduation party, night on the town, um, and it has It's A, so you can kind of put whatever you want together. We're just going to do baby shower. So if we wanted to, we could do uh, it's a baby shower or you're invited to a baby shower. You can mix and match with this set which I think is really super cool. So we're using baby shower. We're going to just lay this flat here on my table. And then you can use your clear block. Now I wanted to point something out about the stamps. I got a question on my Facebook page today which is my pink stamper if you're looking for my Facebook page. And somebody has a set of my stamps and they're wondering how to get them all nice and clean and clear again once you start stamping them. Well, once you start stamping with any of the ink, you're going to, your stamp is automatically going to soak in some of that ink and be permanently stained. There's nothing you can do to get rid of that on the clear stamps. The reason you don't notice that on the red rubber stamps, or you know, the uh, rubber mounted stamps, wood mounted or the rubber stamps, is because it is stained and it's rubber, so you can't tell that it's also there as well. Now what you can do is you can use a stamp cleaner and a scrub, or you can just use a baby wipe for now, or you can use warm water and soap, and you know it'll clean again for you, and it'll stamp clear and clean for you every single time, even if it has a stain. So I hope that answered some of that question. Super easy. These are not the cheap stamps that you'll get at the craft store that you know lose their stickiness and that stop stamping, and that you know these are really awesome stamps. They're very high quality. Okay, we're using a dark brown ink pad and we're using the baby shower. Now we're just going to stamp this at the bottom on the bottom right hand corner. Baby shower. Right here. Now isn't that so sweet? So super easy. And we're going to be using this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. 
quickly cut it. Quickly cut it with some sharp scissors. Hide your good scissors from your children because my kids, seriously, I was cutting or wrapping some Christmas. Ah! I was wrapping Christmas presents today in my office or in my studio and I could not find a pair of scissors. And I used to have a ton of scissors, even just the cheap ones, you know, from Walmart. Sometimes you just need some of those cheap scissors and I could not find one pair. I don't know where they are. I've looked in my kids' room. So hide your good pair of scissors and I should be I should have been doing that all along, but I haven't been, but I will be now. Okay, now we're going to do all four sides of your cuddle bugged piece of paper so that you don't have it warping up because that happens when it's embossed. It'll just kind of go whoop, you know, just do kind of weird things. All right, and now just put that on here. And now you might have the question, well, what about the inside? Because the inside is brown, Robin, and it's not going to show up when I write. Well, what you can do if this is truly for an, inv an invitation, print it out on your computer and cut it down. That's what I did. I made, um, I think I made 60 of these, 50 or 60 of these for a baby shower I was throwing. Or what you can do is just put the same size right here. We have this white 4x4. Put another piece of white 4x4 in here and you can stamp a coordinating little, I have a little baby, fo uh, baby foot on Sweet Baby stamp set. You can stamp that in here and that'll coordinate. And then you have a quick and simple card. We're going to go ahead and the last thing we're going to do, I need to get to bed guys, it's almost midnight. I'm doing this uh, a nighttime video since, you know, December's crazy. We really, with two, two of my boys have birthdays and Christmas, school activities, church activities. It is so busy during the day. So I'm going to try to get these, my videos done at nighttime. And you'll want to watch out for my 12 days of Christmas. We're going to have videos, giveaways, challenges, just some fun stuff. Okay, now we have my quick and simple baby shower invitation and don't forget that I have matching baby shower favors that I made to go along with this and we also made we made some really big um, onesies and we put baby on them so we also made decorations for the party with the same theme so I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you soon